Hey guys, we're back here in Bloxburg, and today I'm going to be going over some building tips. So if you're new to Bloxburg or you just need some building tips, this video is for you. And before we get into that, please consider subscribing as it helps me out a lot. Alright, my first step is never build basic like this, or don't build without shape, okay? You need to have shape in your builds and block You can't just have a box. It's ugly. It only works with a few themes. Like, see, this house looks like a box, or it's pretty flat, right? But it's using the modern style. You need to make something modern in order to, like, have a flat house really work. Okay, so I built this house that, I mean, personally, I think it's kind of ugly. But I built it with a bunch of shape. Look at how the roofs are all different. Look at how the walls all go out in different directions. So this house is obviously going to be looking nicer than other houses because it has shape to it. I recommend that you use a color palette or find colors that work nicely together. And I recommend looking on maybe Pinterest for color palettes. That's where I can find a lot of color palettes. Pinterest has a lot of really good color palettes and basically there are a bunch of colors that go together so you can use them on your house. Step three, don't make your house too big. And I'm gonna show you an example. Okay, so I built a very large house to show you an example of this. So some people will build, like, that's an exception. <clears throat> so to show you an example of this, I built a really large house, okay? This house, is huge and especially huge for a one-story or a two-story house no matter how many stories you have this house is huge you don't need this much space it's just gonna make your house look empty you can't fill all this space no matter how hard you try it will be nearly impossible to fill this space making your house look ugly on the outside and the inside okay, so i have loaded up one of my own plots for this tip but tip four please 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 use pillars on the side of your builds if you can it helps so much and even use molding on the ceilings or on the walls it helps so much like just look at the exterior of the house it looks so much better with all of the pillars and molding than without it, it gives it more texture okay tip five please use textures that work don't use polka dot textures it just makes your house look ugly if you want to make a house look nice use textures like brick on one wall and then use some wood over there use brick pillars use a concrete roof like i'm using an example from my house because it works don't copy what i'm using on this house unless it works with your house okay so make sure you're using colors that work because even when you get inside the colors just blend together they're all very calm colors tip six gardening I know gardening might seem like a bland tip, right? But you need to use bushes, plants, flowers, all those plants to help your build. See, I don't have that good of gardening, and I could probably improve on it 100%. I could improve on this, actually. It's really basic. But adding trees around your plot, adding bushes, plants, flowers, it all helps so much. Tip 7. Don't add unnecessary things to your house. See, I have this wall filled, and it looks nice filled this way, right? But you don't want to add so many things that your house starts to look ugly. Like, I have everything in this house filled enough to where it looks good still, but it's not overwhelmingly full of things on the wall. Okay, so tip A is your yard matters. This is not gardening, but it's your yard itself. Your lawn, your fence. You need to make sure your yard is nice. And this house, my yard isn't that nice. Okay, so what I mean by a nice yard is, look at this, the yard is all really nice. And it's in a nice pattern, it's a nice color, the trees are all nice, and there's a pathway even leading to the backyard. If you go through the fence, which looks nice, you could go right through the back, and you have this gazebo area with, the, with a fire. You have a swing set, more trees, and a trampoline, and this little patio which all contributes to the yard. If you don't have a nice yard, the exterior of your house is just going to look really ugly, no matter how nice the interior looks. So what I mean by make sure your roofs are nice is, on this house, my roofs all line up properly, right? We have a sloped roof here because it looks proper there. I have gables here, a larger gable there, slope, 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 gable. It, you need to use roofs, 
that will look nice on your house. Tip 9, you need to outline your build. So right here you can see I have my pathway outlined, my windows are outlined with the um, with the shutters, my roofs are outlined, my walls are outlined with pillars, everything is really outlined on my house and it really helps show your house. Tip 10 is using outside sources. So what I mean by outside sources, I mean using websites like YouTube, Pinterest, Anywhere that could really show you, or even Google, so you can look at reference houses on real life houses, you can look for color palettes, you can look for speed builds to help improve your skills, just look around on websites to try and help improve your building skills. And that's going to do it for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy and found, you found some sort of helpful tips from this video if you did already know some of these. So I hope this helped you all, and that's going to be the end of this video, see ya.